slice. Look at that. I, I can't see myself. I got all my hot stuff. Presents Muscle Sport Radio. Don. <laughs> Humanity and insanity. But I, I heard that people say that I'm a, I'm a fucking, um, you see a mushroom? <laughs> that I'm an alcoholic. This is my choice of drink during the program. Um, and I think anyone that's drank with me on the road trip, is she okay, Jane? She's a doll. She's a very nice lady. But guys, booth number 357 at the Los Angeles Fitness Extra Exposition. We shall be there. Although, um, yeah, today was another odd day with that whole situation. I'll, I'll fill the, the girls in on that later on our DM. But uh, fret. Do not fret. Uncle Ray <laughs> is handling it. I don't know. You say 357. <laughs> Ray has been... Like my, my guardian angel. <laughs> I already spoke to him twice today. And it's only noon his time. <laughs> I got to tell you about that, Kivis. What's your favorite fantasies? Two female bodybuilders and me in the middle. But I want to watch them get it on for a while first. You'll fill the girls on DM. Yes, I'll fill them on. <laughs> my goddess is. Who am I? Who am I? Fucking Charlie Sheehan. What the fuck, Joe? Happy New Year's, Joe Blow. Hey, fitness. Happy New Year to you. ZZ! I don't bodybuild this. It's like, oh, look at this guy in this show. Who gives a fuck? Let me see your tits. Yes. Freudian slips today, Joe. What did I say? Did I say that I suck penis? <laughs> I can't. Oh, see, I'm so glad you asked me that. The answer is yes. But with a caveat, Crystal, it never is the completion with her. I got on New Year's Eve. I did put pressure on her. I was reading the comments from Mark Lally. I wanted Lally to jump in. I didn't want to because he, he started the, the, the hashtag. I was reading her the comments, and she texted me a hashtag, dream on, or tell them to dream on or something. It was a nice, nice load and a nice way. And I want to thank the entire family for getting behind there and putting pressure on Mrs. P to take care of her husband. Because without you, there ain't no New Year's blown job. Just telling you. <laughs> you know what wasn't respectable? You tell you come on live, live drunk and you have a girdle gas. Yes, I burp a lot. I'm a fucking grease ball. I always burp. Here. <clears throat> I'll do it again. <clears throat> Here, I'm drinking. Look at that. I'm drinking fucking amino acids. There's my drink. Yes, oh. Jason Cucumber Tips. Yes, like, how do you get it in? Do you go slowly? Because the cucumber was... I bet you even some chicks, even girls that had fucking babies bobsledding out of their pussies would have trouble getting that size fucking uh, uh, cucumber in there. Under six <laughs> is three inch hard dick inside. Bro, that for a crackhead, if you can even fucking maintain an adequate erection, that's fucking good for more than a minute. She said she thought that I would think she was disgusting and she had a little few people voice and get up there, but for some reason, you know. Oh man, I'm sure you made up for it now, but imagine you fucking on her deathbed. She goes, Yeah, I never told you something. I, I fucking wanted to fuck you in the ass all these years, but I didn't want to see you like a pig. And I would say, <laughs> if this IV falls out while I'm doing it too fucking bad, I'm getting one in before you, before that thing goes beep. Uh, Big Rob Fitness says I was racist against Muslims. I really could give a fuck. Everybody is a racist. I bet you if you got the Pope gun to his head, he'd say, fuck those Jews. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, bro. Everybody is racist. I'm even racist against my own kind. Fucking guineas drive me more nuts than fucking anybody else because I've been dealing with them longer. Since when do you get about black? <laughs> Did you like that line? <laughs> You're racist against black people. <laughs> what do you give a fuck? Oh, yeah. Rob got some Messiah personality mood disorders. No, I think Rob is fucking... I'm the bad guy. Guy. Rob's a good guy. He's Team Humanity. He's going to defame you saying you're racist. I've been saying racist shit for years. Uh, and I do it tongue in cheek. Uh, you, most people don't get that. <laughs> I, I just nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't like it, <laughs> I'm not sorry, really. I don't even know why I said that. Apologies are fucking gay, anyway. I hope you're saying yes to getting your asshole eaten, because that's just hot. <laughs> Give us a wave if I had your ass eaten lately. Oh my god, I haven't been able to wave in years. 
We're gonna order Woodward so everybody gets drunk and starts playing with themselves. <laughs> Fucking bodybuilding show. <laughs> Oh, they got Ron Harris running around. Oh, look at that. They changed the shorts on Classic Physique. Who cares? Where's my guy? Who cares? Great. Orgy at the MSM booth. I called it first dibs on Crystal. I got Ray. I want to blow Ray's tattooed prick. And fuck him in his tattooed ass. <laughs> I would be, imagine if you were like in jail and Ray came up and you said, come here you. I'd be like, oh God, no. I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> I'm afraid that fucking guy's going to just, just gonna ravage me. <laughs> she should have Big Rob. As a, you know, Big Rob's going to be at the Arnold as well, guys. I just want to prepare everyone. All of the family members that are going to be at the Arnold, be prepared that humanity will be present. And I want to interview him at our booth, well, Ray's booth that we're going to be uh, piggybacking on, uh, covering his stuff, you know, we're going to be covering Ray's stuff, he's being nice enough to let us fucking set up there. Who called dibs on me? <laughs> MSM booth sounds like the place to be, can we have one that's open regardless of this? An expo! If there's no expo, just like set up on somebody's stoop or <laughs> something. Chewy me. Everybody says, I did, I did. Rich is looking forward to meeting Big Rob. Oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be at the MP booth with Steven. Run! They can't afford a fucking card table. Not that I can. I'm getting this booth. I'm getting fucking, you know, it's a, it's a barter deal for coverage. I shouldn't throw fucking, you know, like I'm Mr. Big over here. I'm fucking Mr. Shit. But... Those fucking buffoons couldn't even figure out how to get that. <laughs> Men's incoming. Big Rich versus Big Rob. <laughs> I didn't see that comment. Shuey said it's him. He called for steps on you. <laughs> yes, this is a family fucking friendly atmosphere. <laughs> oh, God. Johnny Juice. Yo, what's up, JJ? How the fuck are you? Happy New Year, bro. Yes. Muscle Sport Radio in the house. Fucking Hot Stuff presents. Hot Stuff. I'm, I'm getting hot because these girls are talking about doing fucking Skype sex and letting me masturbate. This week's MSM coverage of the Arnold Rich beats Rick Rob's ass. The MSM men beat their cocks and the ladies drank Woodward. <laughs> MSM floor at the hotel. I can do it on the floor. The bed's more comfortable, but I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? Ink Jesse! Oh, Ink Jesse's gonna be one of our fucking beautiful, gorgeous MSM maidens. Black and white attire at the Fit Expo. Ink Jesse! Do you like cucumber sandwiches? Only if they got spread with dark, chunky peanut butter. I can't wait till the show starts with Kim and Crystal. Yes, I know. We're going to all jerk off. What the what? fuck is wrong with these jerks? That fucking guy's a dick. <laughs> no. Maybe we'll get Kat Vong and fucking Tiffany to do, like, uh, 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 another show. Like, fucking, you know, uh, let's sniff each other's cunts. <laughs> Yes, bro. Nikki, huh, that sounds like you're shooting a load with that name. What the fuck? That's fucking great, bro. bro welcome to, Nikki, I'm just breaking balls. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. All right, good. You never know. Some people can't take jokes in this fucking world, a.k.a. Big Rob Fitness. You know? <laughs> I feel like my face is going to be hurting at the booth from lasting thought. Jesse, you're never going to experience the stupidity that's, it, it's like sophomore hijinks, Dumb baby shit, but just fucking off the cuff fucking funny. And I love when people go, oh, that guy's so, like, fucking creepy. He's like the old perverted uncle. Dude, wait till you're my age. <laughs> you're not going to change just because you're 20, 30, or 50. <laughs> you're a pig, you're a pig. <laughs> Rocco, we're, we're starting the new year off right with a family-friendly fucking program today. We want to make sure everybody knows that this is Sarah Love's magma. <laughs> I'm assuming your wife is a wild guy. Hey, Jesse, no, it's the exact opposite. That's why I'm such a horny bastard. Because she doesn't... Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> Johnny Facebook Messenger, please. Are you sending them cop shots again, Stephen? <laughs> Everyone, welcome to Illegal Steroids. Presents Gearing Up right here on the Muscle Sport Mag Instagram and 
YouTube TV channel once it's up there. Happy New Year to you, Sam. Thank you, sir. Uh, you DM Alessa Racine, Jason's new Bessie. No, but I did comment on a comment that she was tagged in that somebody said to interview her, and I said I would be uh, proud to. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Motivation, inspiration, masturbation, <laughs> humanity, insanity. Yes. Yes, definitely have to add masturbation to the Asians. Or I apologize to Big Rob. I'm sorry, Big Rob, that I made you look bad because you made yourself look bad. I just, I use one's own words against them. But everyone, welcome to LegalSteroids.com presents Gear and Up. And I told my wife that the new hashtag you guys were starting yesterday was the uh, anal. And, um, and she's, the, she told me the only time she would give me anal is either on her deathbed or if we went to, <laughs> yeah, Mark, it worked. I love you, bro. It, it, it trended enough to get her mouth on my member. Mule and mouth she had. But, um, uh, she's told me that, uh, if I took her to Bora Bora and we had like, they have those over the fucking, uh, lagoon, like, you know, little huts where you stay in. Uh, it almost looks like in Deer Hunter when they were playing, um, uh, Viet Cong at gunpoint Russian roulette. And she says if we went there, she would finally give up the balloon knot. So I said, well, we're going to the travel agent this weekend. And this is a few years ago. And they said, well, what a 66 year life to anal. Okay. <laughs> and, um, oh, you got to take a plane and then you got to go to Hawaii and then take a puddle jumper and all this. And she's like, well, I'm not doing all of that. And I said, well, I am. You know, I said, you can't claim something. And then when I said I would do it, Say, oh, it, it's too much of a pain in the ass to get there and it's too expensive. We can't afford it. I said, I'll spend my last dime to get in that ass. So, just green screen. If <laughs> I should. You know what? That's a great. Maybe I'll do a little quick, like, goofy commercial or something for the, uh, for one of the MSTVs coming up. Um, yeah, that's a K Fitness. Who, who said, oh, my vet. Thank you, bro. That is fucking. Great idea. I can find, definitely find a picture online of that thing. <laughs> but that dude just uses people. Yeah, I'm, Caddy, I know. I'm fucking using him for hits. Uh, he's like a load rag to me. <laughs> and he can do the same for me. If he, if he gets hits when he curses me out, do go for it, bro. I, I can care less. Do a fucking loud in the city against me. <laughs> I would fucking retweet that shit a million times, bro. Oh, Nick shit. Nick. Yo, is this Joe Pisitaro? Joe You little Pisitaro. hater bitch. You little hater bitch. <laughs> Dude. Bro, Yo. how cunty is that cunt, the Dan, the bodybuilder in Thailand? Oh, he gets what he deserves in life, man. That's somebody who was riddled with insecurities growing up that didn't feel like he, you know, fit in, that moved to Thailand because he couldn't make it in the greatest country in the world. I mean, think about how great this fucking country is. If someone like Big Rob can make the type of money that he supposedly makes. 300 large a year. Dude, I feel like I can do anything. Holy shit. The way you handled that with the text messages was brilliant. I mean, Joe, you, you're the type of man I want to be when I grow up because you I, could, because I'm, I'm an asshole because, I mean, I'm younger though, but I would have stuck it to Ron Harris when he was saying the whole race baiting thing and shit like that. Which uh, is, an, is a whole other story, but I'd have been like, yeah, get that motherfucker. Because Ron Harris is a weasel, man. You should stick it to him in any chance you get. But you you said do whatever you want to do, you know? And, yeah. and the proof was in the pudding. I the proof was I in the pudding. I let Rob, I gave him rope, and he hung himself. It was the, and that's, one of the easiest things I've ever done in my fucking life, bro. And that's why he left, man. That's why he left the chat. And then, yo, the funniest fucking thing was right after your bur the, the kettle is burning hot, and then you have that guy like with the lazy uh, eye coming in and so shit. <laughs> yo, I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, yo, I've been following your shit for what? How long now? Like two and a half years since living the Jack Life series. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know where the fuck you're finding these guys. You're like the new. You're like the the musclehead Howard Stern now. <laughs> Bro, you know? it's like there's a big search going on to try to find his account. I don't know who the fuck he was. I've never <laughs> seen him before. I, 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 I feel bad for the techie kid, though. So I, I do want to bring him to the table. Maybe he'll help you get followers. Yeah, well, he looked like... I think he might saying stupid shit, though. You know? Yeah, well, he, he looked like a Chernobyl baby or something. Maybe Mr. Johnson's in his basement. Who knows, you know? Mr. Johnson actually DM'd me. W really? Yes. What'd he say? 
he said that his he got his house got burglarized and he uh, he lost his phone and all of this shit. But he's he's getting a new phone. He's getting back. He's coming back. So all I right, that's good to hear. I hope you, bro. you know we wish them. Uh, yeah, Mary, I, I hope Mary that's not true. Because he's you know he's a little different, but he's a, he's a good guy, you know. Yeah, he's all right. I don't know if I would fucking leave my daughter at his house for fifteen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but. You know, <laughs> Talking on Instagram, fucking three hundred miles or whatever, you know, to Chicago. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a right. cool guy. <laughs> well, he better get a phone real quick with this new show with uh, Kim Haynes and Crystal. Imagine the pud he's going to be pulling to that program. Oh my dude, he's going to have fucking burns on his cock. I mean, he's going to. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and big shout out to Keefis. I fucking love that guy. Keefis, yeah, you guys. Keefis is a good dude. Sports guys, bro. Dude, I love the show. I love the sports show. Shitload of sports. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to give out the code. Forty percent, Jan forty, J A N forty, or Jan like Jan Brady, the my the middle sister, annoying. This fucking thing, forty percent off. Use Jan forty the whole month of January. Hey, Rick, what's up? Is it true the movie Rain Man is loosely based on Johnny Bravo and Big Rob Dustin? <laughs> Johnny Bravo's fucking Tom Cruise and Deanna Maybrook is that guinea broad that he was fucking when that retard fucking Ray walked in. Remember when he walks in on him, he's fucking his girlfriend in the hotel and the brother, the, the autistic kid well, well, guy walks in. Kmart sucks, right? Nate's busy in Germany making Dumbo porn. Listen, not for nothing, man. Guys say shit about Dumbo. Every one of you would fucking eat a fucking shit sandwich on semolina bread, courtesy of a colon. So let's just, let's, let's be square and honest. Nine Inch Nate released the tape. Is that what that whole thing is? It's how big his dick is? I met him in person at the Olympia, but he was not naked, so I can't say for sure if it is a niner. We used to have my friend PD9s, we used to call him. He was one of my fellow policemen because he had a nine inch cock. Every time I come in here, I think to myself, what the hell am I doing when I just can't resist? Come on, Audie, this is fucking fun. For an hour of fucking day, just everybody just say fuck it. <laughs> what are those white stains on your specs? <laughs> Granny figs, a diaper exploded when I was eating her ass. <laughs> oh, great show, really. Hopefully, somebody thinks so good. I want that Rob guy to prep the bull. Oh. <laughs> Before I go deep with Kim to the teeth and the guilt, fucking honey, I love you, you fucking maniac. That is so funny. Chris Rock! <laughs> Granny's going to be, uh, I guess she's finishing. <laughs> oh, no. You work in a hospital or something, bro? Like, oh, no. Like a strong hospital toilet. Did everything come out okay, Granny? <laughs> oh, there's the shower. That's you in a hospital room. You must be a nurse or something. <laughs> That's Granny Figs. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. I hope it all came out okay. <laughs> And no fucking skid marks. <laughs> it was right down. Doesn't leave any tiger stripes. I think he's a patient in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but every time he comes on live, months at a time, in between, he's got to work in the hospital. <laughs> Granny Figs can be a cardio surgeon. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, I don't know how to work at the MySpace. <laughs> I still have a MySpace. My name was Sports Scribe on it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I got a new toy. Wait, let me play with it. I don't know if you can. Hopefully you can hear it. I just downloaded this thing. Let me see if I can get it to work properly. Let me know if you guys can hear this. I'll turn it up all the way. Can you hear that? I got a soundboard and I can download my own things. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking about anal. Time for a commercial break. And we'll be right back. 
after this quick word from LegalSteroids.com. Save 40% this month, January 2018. JAN40 at checkout right there on LegalSteroids.com. Title sponsor up. Gear it up every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on at Muscle Sport Mag Instagram Live. How's that? Brooklyn. Where in Brooklyn, natural? Where in Brooklyn? That's my old stomping grounds. I'm a Bensonhurst kid. Well, if you come to Chicago, we can meet, and I'll take you to my neighbor, and we can do a video at my gym. You'll be like the only white guy. Now, would I, would I be able to leave said gym alive? <laughs> On one of Big Rob's last lives, he says that you wouldn't show up at the expo for fear he might be there. I am going, and I guess he's talking about the Arnold. Um, yes, I shall be there. And I won't need no Burger King bodyguards either. Allie, the cute to the dub. I'm going to be seeing you in a few weeks, Allie. LOL, as long as you can stay close to me, I got street cred around here. I'm not leaving your butt. <laughs> if this Rob guy has a problem with you, he has a problem with me and my... There you go, Artie. Artie's got my back, bro. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I love it when Johnny Bravo mentions his wife, Rob Rages. See, I don't like doing that. And I've told Johnny that straight out, that I don't like when people you know, say shit about somebody they have a problem with, anybody related to them. I don't like when people try to fuck with your job, your wife, your kids, your neighbor, your dog, your cat, your, your legalsteroids.com supply. Go after the guy you're mad at. You don't need to hit his fucking wife with a rank out. Oh, don't ever do that shit if you come to my block. Just act. In my old neighborhood, if you all you had to say to somebody in an argument was your mother. You don't have to even say anything after that. Just those two words. It was an immediate fucking brawl. Urban, yes, I agree. Audie, I bet you we grew up very similar in fucking, uh, uh, in different cities, but similar shit. Just, you know, different fucking color. So what? Still, still same street type of nonsense. I'm just playing around. Joe is currently fixing Big Rob's hormones. He won't die from his death. Joe gets anal. Two thousand. Yes. I, I have a feeling you're going to be right because you guys got me that New Year's Eve fucking uh, uh, a suck off. Joe gets anal 2019. Let's make it happen. I hope I do because I want to pull my dick out and see Brown. 